For today's video, I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I am part of a bunch of Cricut groups on Facebook and there has been a huge trend lately on everyone making these paper mandalas. Mandalas? Mandala. I'm not really sure how you say that word exactly right, but I'm pretty sure most people are saying mandala. So you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't really know, but I think they're really cute. So I wanted to try my hand at making one. So I don't think these are necessarily traditional mandalas, mandalas. I'm pretty sure that they're just like layered cardstock projects. Um, but they have like intricate little weavings and stuff like that. So that makes them look more like a mandala, mandala, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to use my Cricut to cut one out and just try it out and see how I like it. I do know that a lot of people have actually um, not really known what to do with them after they've made them. So I pre-planned. <laughs> I didn't want to be stuck with something that was really pretty but didn't have a purpose. So I decided I'm going to treat my paper and then I'm gonna turn it into a door hanging. So I'm gonna put it up on my front door. So there's a few designs in Cricut Design Space that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using my Cricut to cut these out. And then um, I'm gonna probably cut them out first and then treat them and then assemble them. So let's get to cutting out. But first I should probably decide what colors I wanna use. I bought this cardstock at Hobby Lobby just a few days ago. And this one's just solid colors, and then this one is glitter, and I'm super excited to use it. See, so the mandala that I've chosen is a Halloween theme because Halloween is just around the corner. We're all still in quarantine, and we need some excitement, so I'm doing a Halloween one. It's a cauldron, and it looks so cute, and I'm really excited to make it. So it has about five colors, I think. So I just need to come through and pick five colors. It might seem a little bit odd that I've chosen these colors, but it's actually the colors that they chose in the original design as well. So I just kind of decided to go with it and see <laughs> how it all turns out. It looks good when it's all fully assembled, although some of these colors together look a little bit strange. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I just finished cutting out the first layer out of five and it took way longer than I thought it would. So this thing is a lot more detailed than I realized. Okay, so this is the first layer. So I'm gonna flip my cardstock over and peel the mat away from it so that I don't curl my design. Oh my goodness. There is so much fine detail on this. The rest of that can go in recycling. So this is what the base layer looks like. I'm so excited. This is gonna be such a fun little pot. I gotta punch all these extra things out though. That didn't come the first time. All right, I'll cut the next layers and come back and show you what we have. These are all the pieces that I've ended up with after cutting everything out. So I did actually end up switching one of my colors. I changed the blue to a goldish color. After I cut out the blue one and I was kind of trying to assemble them while they were still cutting out, I just really didn't like the appearance of the blue. I felt like I wanted something to pop a little bit more. And I did use one glitter and I felt like it just wasn't enough. So I went back and I added another glitter in a goldish orangish color. So that's what's different now. So what I need to do with these pieces now is I need to treat them so that if it rains or it's a really humid day or something like that, it's not gonna ruin these because this is gonna go on my front door. I'm gonna take these outside and I am going to spray them to seal them. I just came outside to spray these things and I gotta show you what I found because it's really, I don't like it. Look at the size of that thing. He's scary. I am not a fan. So we'll just try to avoid him while uh, I set up my space. To set up my workstation, I'm going to put down a piece of black plastic. This is actually just a trash bag, but I'm going to put that down because I'm going to be spraying on my patio because I don't want stuff from the grass to get into my designs and stuff like that. So I'm going to set this up on the patio and then I am going to use painter's tape to kind of tape the pieces down so they don't blow away in the wind. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up now. 
Don't mind my enormous belly. I'm just growing a human while I do this project. Also, I started off by placing rocks in the corners of my trash bag to hold it down. And uh, I quickly realized that my rocks were just a little bit too small for that to work. So I resorted to painter's tape. I put a couple pieces of painter's tape on each of the cauldron's backsides, and then I laid them down on top of the trash bag to tape it down. Also, while I was doing this part, my neighbor totally walked outside and <laughs> saw me filming. And I don't know why, but I just always feel so awkward when people see me film. So here I am giving an awkward greeting to him because I finally noticed him. <laughs> then after my awkward wave, he went back inside and I continued to tape my pieces down. I used a clear gloss sealant from Rust-Oleum, not sponsored, to finish off the cauldron pieces. Um, and I totally thought I knew what I was doing at this point. And uh, turns out that I actually didn't think everything through when it comes to spray painting something on top of plastic. And I'll explain what I mean in a minute. Okay, now I'm just gonna let that dry. I think it says it has a dry time of about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let that dry, come back, do another coat, and then I'll probably flip them over and then do the back side too so that it's completely sealed on all sides. <laughs> so I'm peeling these up after their second coating on the back side and I'm noticing that I probably should have done the back side first and then flipped it over because I'm getting all of these little splotchy things. So I might have to just flip them over and do it again. And hopefully that will go away or I'm gonna try and pick it all off. It's been about a day and a half now since I sprayed these things and I have a few things to note, I guess. So I think I sprayed them probably like three times each doing like three coats on each one. And I may have actually ended up ruining some of them. And I may have gotten a little bit impatient on some of them and instead of spritzing it like you're supposed to, I kind of full on sprayed the stuff on there. So that resulted in some of them discoloring a little bit. I'll show you on like this one. It just has like some darker spots in other places, but honestly, it's not going to affect the appearance of this too much. And in some ways it might enhance it a little bit more just because it'll add a little bit more texture to the cauldron. So we'll see how it turns out in the end. There was also this point where I realized that I should not have sprayed them all in the same spot multiple times because after a while of spraying them, they kind of just started adhering to the trash bag <laughs> instead of being able to be lifted up and pulled away. And that kind of created its own problem because it made this like film on some of them. The film was really sticky and tacky when I was trying to peel them up off the trash bag. So that ended up not working as well. I think if I were to do this again, I would probably spray them on the trash bag lift them up after they've dried, move them to a different spot on the trash bag, or maybe get a new trash bag so that it didn't like adhere to the trash bag. When it comes to assembling them, I've thought really hard about this because uh, I can't think of a glue that would really stick everything together and be weatherproof. Most glue, when you get it wet, it kind of like comes apart. And I think super glue would be a little bit hard to put on all these intricate details and make it all stick. So what I've decided to do for this is I have this adhesive spray that I got from the dollar store. I am going to spray the backs of these and assemble them all together. And then I think I'm gonna treat it again with the sealant just so that the glue, if it gets wet, it won't come undone and ruin the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray the backs of these and I'm gonna adhere them to each other. And then I will probably attach a ribbon around it to hang it from my door. A lot of people in the Facebook groups that I'm a part of that are doing these things, they were actually using foam to create the layers. And I think they were doing that to kind of get more of a 3D effect on them. But since this is just being a door hanger, I didn't really want to do that. Um, and I felt like it was going to be really hard, especially on some of these ones that have finer details, to make that work. <laughs> Okay, now that I've got all the layers glued together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a ribbon to it and I'll probably add it right here so it can look like the handle of the cauldron and then it can hang from my door by the handle. So 
So I've got this black ribbon here. It's just what I had on hand, so I didn't really pre-pick it or special pick it or anything like that. But I'll probably just cut off a strip and do something like this. And then hang it up. The ribbon, I wanted it to be a little bit more stable, so I'm gonna hot glue it on. After I do that, I'll probably seal it one more time just for the glue's sake. I think this is already really cool and really fun. This is gonna be a really cool Halloween decoration. Get my ribbon in place while my hot glue heats up. Looks like I got a little bit of spray glue on the table too. That's all right. I'm gonna try to have it coming just right off those corners so it looks like a handle. All right, here we go. Give that some time to cool down. And put this one in. Okay, I think it's ready to hang on the door. Let's go see how it looks. All right, it's the moment of truth. Here we go. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's a little bit closer to nighttime and the lights reflect off the glitter. So I think that'll be really fun. But that's all I had for today's project. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.